Good morning, it's Monday morning. Steve went back to work today after having a week off, so um, that was a bit strange. But as you saw, we started our morning with a walk, even though it was kind of raining. But it's something that I actually really want to get into um, this winter especially. Um, just when we're dressed and we're up and we're sorted, I want to take them out just for a walk. I mean, even if it's literally round the block, that's all we did this morning because it was raining. We just went round the block, had fresh air and to get us all out for half an hour or 20 minutes or whatever it is um, before we sit down and do a little bit of formal work. Um, so we're going to probably do an hour now um, on Oliver's Vegetables, which is a story. Um, and I'm going to use my 100... English lessons um, to do that so there's a couple of little exercises which should be quite fun um, we've got Nana and Grandad coming over for lunch and then Bex and Alex are also popping in for a play for an hour this afternoon so I want to get a little bit done this morning in the kitchen I have got doesn't look very appetizing at the minute because it needs a good stir and everything in a bit and all the veggies at the top but we've got a stew in the slow cooker which would be really nice and yes, Dan. Stew, you like stew, and Nana's gonna bring in some nice crusty bread. I do sometimes make the bread, but um, the last couple of times I've done it, it hasn't turned out that well. And I just think, do you know what? If someone's going to the shop, we might as well just buy it. I know it's not really. Anyhow, what was I saying? And I thought it'd be nice because Steve has to get the bus home all this week, so it's a long old uh, trip home. He's probably gonna be soaked through by the time he gets home because he works outside. Um, so a nice warm stew will just be uh, perfect. And I think Mum's gonna stay here for dinner. Dad will go home. So um, Stan is ready to start work. How are you today, Ronnie? You're okay? Say good, Ronnie. Mm. Are you missing Daddy? Yeah. Oh, I'm missing Daddy. Yeah, That's you're missing cool. Daddy a bit. Apple, you are. Ronnie, what would you like to do? Would you like to play Play-Doh or something? Or are you happy playing with your toys? Yeah, yeah, Ronnie, yeah. You want to play with your Lego? It's really strange without okay. Daddy because the last couple of Daddies we've seen Daddy, so it's really strange. Yeah, we had an exciting time. Where did we go on Friday for Daddy's birthday, Stan? Just Chesington, didn't we? Was it fun? And, the world and, of adventures. And on Wednesday, we might go to the outdoor swimming pool. Not today. That's what we were going to possibly do, but the weather wasn't very good, was it? So probably not this week. But Stan has something exciting as well. He actually, I've been on the waiting list. Oh, that's bright. Um, we've been on the waiting list for the Woodcraft folk, which I don't know if you've heard of, um, but it's kind of like cubs and beavers and that kind of thing. Um, but it's very earthy and kind of, you know. So um, I haven't really got a clue myself what it's going to be like, um, but we've had good recommendations. So it's quite local to us. So that's on a Tuesday evening, which is... 6 30 to 7 30 which i think is kind of late for like school children but obviously with stan it doesn't matter he can have a bit of a lay-in in the morning another perk of home ed which is quite cool um but yeah so i'm hoping that he'll really enjoy that i'm sure he will um so yeah we'll let you know how he gets on with that so that's exciting and we're back to swimming lessons this week on bye, wednesday bye, mommy. <laughs> Say bye bye um, so yeah we've got a few bits this week but we're just trying to get into a good routine and um, one of those things is like having that walk in the morning which I think will do us all good um, remind me of that when it's you know midwinter and it's freezing cold but yeah I think we're going to try and stick to that anyway because I think that's just it's just nice to regroup really after getting ready and stuff like that so and come back and start with our brains afresh because we're not going swimming today my nan is poorly eyed so we can't go no, we're not going to swim in love. We're going to um, we're going to do some work, are we? So I'm going to stop talking now, and we are going to read Oliver's vegetables. Yeah, it was painted, I think, wasn't it? So this book is called Oliver Oliver's Vegetables by Vivian French. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me We're meant to be In the great 
Straight out the door Forever free So we are now going to do a little bit of maths, I think, before Bex and Alex come this afternoon for a play. You and me were meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. done some maths and uh, we're really liking maths no problem actually I really like having something just to work through it makes life a lot easier than having to actually um, sort of plan the lessons and stuff but dad is going to take the boys for a quick bike ride um, where I get a few bits done around the house if I can find the bikes in this mess of a shed probably find loads of spiders I expect um, anyway yeah so dad's going to take them for a little um, bike ride which is really nice because he likes to walk so um yeah, that would be nice. Hi, hi, hi. Ronnie's home. Ronnie, did you have an ice cream? Yeah. Goodness, look, we need to get you cleaned up, don't yeah. we? Look, you're all dirty. Your brother's got mud up his back. Should we get you yeah. changed and then you're going to play with some Play Doh, aren't you? I just wanted to have a quick catch up with you. Um, Bex came around with Alex and so we've just been playing and everything so I didn't film too much of that but I just wanted to say how much we're enjoying Maths No Problem which I kind of mentioned earlier but I was going to show you standard lesson three today. Um, so you've got your basically your textbook here so you do a little bit in the textbook which is only like a couple of pages long and then in the actual workbook there was quite a few pages to do today um, but what we did is stand in a couple of pages in the morning and then he went on to do another couple of pages in the afternoon which kind of worked really well it doesn't every lesson doesn't actually have as many pages so um, yeah he did a really good job on that today he was really enjoying it um, so now we're up to kind of worksheet four and lesson four so we've done like um, three four lessons over last week and this week we didn't do that much last week but it's such a relief to actually just be able to work through a book and not have to kind of plan lessons and stuff like that it's nice just to be able to pick it up when we want to do a couple of pages at a time um, he could do as much or a little as he wants to do I just love the way they're laid out it's really clear he really enjoys it we're definitely going to stick with this so far um, it's the best thing I've found for maths by far so this is the um, start of year two which is 2a um, and that's about that thick if you get an idea and then there's actually a second half to the year as well so I'm not sure how quickly we'll actually work through these really because I kind of haven't worked it out like week by week or anything like that because I don't really like to put that pressure on us um, and with the nature curriculum that's taken up quite a lot of our time this week is mini beasts for e autumn week two and we will do be doing some work on it um, but we've done quite a lot of mini beasts lately so I'm not going to make it a big project this week I don't think um, we're going to definitely do some reading and stuff on it um, but I'm actually doing a few English lessons as I said on Oliver's vegetables and there's a computing lesson from the computing book that actually ties in with that so I'm going to do a bit of that I think tomorrow with him and it's like flow charts and stuff which ties into the story we've done and as you saw earlier he did um, this story sequencing and stuff like that but there's quite a few nice activities for that so the boys well Stan decided that they were going to sit down and pop down some ideas for a Christmas list which could be dangerous and this is Ronnie's list it's very yeah. good isn't it Ham the pig from Toy Story you yeah, like what else? Is there anything else on there? Oh, yeah! 
Of what I'm, what I'm going to write now is new Power Rangers. Right, so, because okay. this is what I'm watching now, new Power Rangers. So we've got Lego train set, roller boots, remote yeah. car. So we have settled down and we are going to read a little bit more of Little House in the Big Woods. We're enjoying that, aren't we, Sam? We haven't actually had much time to do it, so we're going to get back into that. I'm going to say bye-bye, Runny. Bye-bye. Bye. See you soon. Bye-bye. We will see you bye for bye. our next video. Oh, you're going to do that. Okay. Oh, good job. And we will see you for our next video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And we will see you soon. Bye. Bye. See you for our next video. Bye.